Hi, welcome to Bicate's Crossing. As we continue our exploration of the Chakra Wisdom Tarot, we're up to the seventh chakra, the Crown Chakra. Okay, so this is what we're exploring, the Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman. Remember, it always comes with a guidebook when you're buying at mass market, and it always comes in a two-piece box. Okay, it is always a two-piece box um, for the original um, chart for wisdom tarot so it always it does not come in a tuck box it does come in a two-piece box like this and it does come with a guidebook it does have a barcode on the back it is by Watkins okay and it does um, and you can find out more information by going to Tori Hartman's website or YouTube channel um, where she does occasionally Sort of dive deep into the chakra wisdom tarot okay so let's continue with the um crown chakra as we explore a little the major account we're going to start with first is the lovers so let me grab the lovers that's what we're going to look at first which is card number six okay so we're going to so the lovers is the fool discovers the delicious pleasure of desire. The fool stands viewing the love she desires, observing passion and desire. Or is she in the picture looking upon her own experience? This is her opportunity to step into the picture she has only imagined until now. Will she? The seventh chakra message is the fool's first visit to the seventh chakra card. We wonder if she's learnt if she has learnt of real love or only dreamed of it, does it matter? Her connection to the universal consciousness has always been there. She sends this message to create the world, the union, the partnership, the pain and pleasure she sees. She seeks. Sorry about that. Okay, the next card we're looking at is death, which is card number 13. Okay, the fool steps out of her cocoon. The fool emerges reborn, leaving her shadow self tied to the roots of her past. This is the death of all that once held her back. She is now in the universal state of mastery and emerges into a new life. Seventh chakra message is, allowing old resent resentment to die means no longer giving them meaning in your life. If you choose, you can embody the enlightenment of the seventh chakra and evolve to mastery. From this place, the manifesting is as natural as breath. Interesting. Okay, so let's have a look at the minor arcana. Okay, the, with the minor arcana, we're beginning to explore the sevens. Okay, so the minor arcana, seventh chakra, okay, which is the crown chakra, just above, located just above the top of the head, element of eternity. Color can be violet or white, and in this case, the violet. The mantra is the silent contemplation, or Om, and the planet is Saturn. Okay, if you want to go into the seventh chakra meaning. Okay, the mystical occult and the neutrality of spirit are represented in the seventh chakra. The tarot cards here are unconcerned with the material world and are direct conduit to universal consciousness. The seventh chakra exists just above the physical body and is attached to nothing. Each card has a neutral quality to it. The sevens. In the tarot, the sevens will, will address finding our place in the universe, whereas the seventh chakra represents universal themes. As the final chakra, they're going to reveal intentions, those for the highest good or those that keep us stuck. They reveal the way we approach decisions, whether we in corporate spirit overthink ourselves into confusion. And the next one is the kings. The king in each of this of the four suits represents the universal of power, but uh, universal idea of power, and the way in which opportunities to use this energy will appear. They invoke the true idea of universal protection. They each sit on a throne, fierce, kind, loyal, or patriot, patriarchal. And they guard the access to un, uh, to universal consciousness, which the seventh chakra reveals as the highest calling of these cards. When you are stuck, look at the same card in the prior chakra. 
So if the seven of cups is confusing, look instead to the six of cups. The prior chakra energy may energetically reveal what came right before the confusion. So let's have a look at the sevens. So we begin with the seven of cups, which is here. Okay, the seven of cups is a state of emotional overwhelm. She appears un unconcerned with the choices before her, perhaps implying that the journey is not hers to make. The chakra message is the universe is neutral and holds no opinion emotionally overwhelm. Emotional overwhelms comes from second guessing yourself. Dream big. Next we have seven of coins. Seven of coins is the time of financial evolution. She lovingly appreciates one of her coins, illustrating gratitude for the journey she has taken. Her unspoken message to the universe from her coin collection is to attract more friends. Money will come as love encourages continued growth. Chakra message, who is who in your ancestry had material prosperity? Manifesting abundance may be what you came here to do. Resistance indicates fear of losing what you have. Okay, next we have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is the path of indomitable strength. She is aligned with spirit. The wands behind her were never challenges, merely tools she did not know how to use. Her connection to spirit makes her focus mem mesmerizing. Do not undervalue feminine energy. Anything in the way of, of her being victorious will be else, uh, moved elsewhere. Chakra message. Things are happening that you do not see or yet see. Cultivate an unrelenting commitment to rise above obstacles. Hold strong and focus on your outcome. Next we have Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is the lesson of universal impatience. She does not need to take what the universe wants to give her. She is energetically trying to remove the dark night of her soul. Chakra message. Fear creates an energy that prevents the connection to spirit. Are you ready to break free? There is no need to settle for less. You need to break free. There's no need to settle for less. Okay, next we move on to the kings. First we have the king of cups, which is the king of emotional agreements. This king does not hold the cup. Rather, it is suspended, reminding us the seventh chakra is the ascension to God consciousness. What we do for the whole will support the individual. Chakra message. Emotional support and strength exists somewhere in your family of origin. Are you ready to use it? Okay, so it's about connecting to your family. Okay, so we've got King of Coins is next. King of Coins is the king of ambitious goals. This king brings higher consciousness ideas, ideals to all material considerations. He owns his own success and welcomes those who wish to learn and, and to learn, learn into his midst. Chakra message, you may be further along than you think. Knowing what you wish to attain reveals a mile marker for the journey ahead. Maybe further ahead than you realise. Okay, so next one is King of Wands. King of Wands is the king of creative adventurer. This king instills faith in its followers. The seventh chakra in its exaltation is to be respected and admired on merit rather than title. He possesses the energy of ten men and will persevere long after others have quit. This one talks about, so the chakra message talks about staying focused on higher consciousness. This is a time to collect inspired energy and ideas. Your ancestors, those in the seventh chakra energy, are aiding you in your endeavor. So you're being helped, you're being guided by your ancestors in some way. Okay, King of Swords is the king of verbal precision. The seventh chakra is the place of true warriors. This king enters as a master of the legal and business realm. He stands ready to guard what is yours or cut away will not serve you. Allow, so the chakra message is allow things to fully unfold before saying no. You may have created what you wanted, though it may not look the way you thought it would. You can change the original intention to fit your outcome. This is about changing your intention. Okay, so we've got these cards. So let's have, have a shuffle. And what are we going to focus on today? with the crown chakra. What message are we going to focus on with the crown chakra today? Okay, so we're going to focus on 
we're going to look at judgment and we're going to look at seven of swords so this to me is sense of being empowered and with our authentic self if we're looking at sort of a tarot messages but let's have a look re-look at the this here so what are we going to focus on with judgment so this is about being grateful because having reached the seventh chapter of course now this of clarity the honor those who taught us how to live the place of forgiveness rather a place of rage consciousness complete and acceptance here the work is complete so it feels like something is complete something is ready to be moved you're moving you're moving on to a sense of empowerment in some way i feel like this is a sense of being empowered um taking back your um, your truth in the situation it's about being grateful and yeah it does feel like there's a sense of acceptance in or realization of your true self a realization of your true self in some way so this is about feeling empowered quite an interesting i feel like this is a real look at being empowered in some way so let's have another look at seven of swords again so it's a universal and patient of what to take what most wants to give who shares any kind of remove the balance fear creates an energy that breaks are you ready to break free so this is really about breaking free breaking free from the past i feel like this is definitely about being um authentic self being empowered and enabling yourself to break free from from the past in some way so this is these are two cards i'm going to reflect on for today and um let's continue um studying the chakra wisdom tarot so that's it from me don't forget to check the links down below check the links on my channel like subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded take care and blessed be